the question number 30th says that uh, which of the following processes does not involve oxidation of iron uh, the first option is decoloration of glue copper sulfate solution by iron now we know that uh, copper sulfate when react with iron uh, this reaction is redox change in which the copper 2 plus and iron will react together and uh, eventually the copper metal and iron will be obtained as uh, like the oxidized iron so when the iron is oxidized into fe2 plus we say that this in this reaction the iron is oxidized so this will not be the matched option because uh, the question is asked about the not involvement of oxidation of iron while we see that the iron is oxidized over here so first option is ruled out second option is formation of feco5 from fe now we know that uh, when iron reacts with co we get FeCO5 and if you calculate the state of oxidation here it is 0 and start from 0 it means this is not an oxidation process of iron this therefore is the matched option because uh, uh, the iron is not involved in oxidation third third is liberation of hydrogen from steam by iron at high temperature we know that when iron reacts with steam it forms Fe3O4 plus hydrogen of course at high temperature in this process again you see that the iron is being oxidized into Fe3O4 this process therefore is also oxidation of iron and that's why not not the correct option and finally we know that rusting of iron is uh, essentially an uh, oxidation process that's why the fourth option is also ruled out the answer is second we said, uh, we said at the question number 30, the answer will be second. Pairs of elements have nearly same atomic radii. Uh, in the brackets, we are given the atomic numbers. So, now see, this is 3D series, this 4D series and 5D series. We know the initial three elements of 3D series are scandium, titanium, vanadium. Similarly, three initial three members of each series are written here. Now, we know that when we come from 4D to 5D, series then from zirconium to hafnium there is an increment of uh, 40 and this is 72 so there is an increment of 32 nuclear charge and therefore there is lengthened contraction between zirconium and hafnium and that's where the size of zirconium and hafnium are nearly equal now you see that the first option is given to be zirconium and niobium nb now we know that zr and nb now they will not have the similarity in size because uh, they are in a period and period the size decrease but here the lengthening contraction is occurring so zirconium size is observed to be almost nearly equal to hafnium so it will not be correct option second second is zirconium and hafnium as we have discussed that because of the lengthening contraction the size of zirconium and hafnium become nearly equal third is ZR and TA you know that ZR and TA these are not uh, and that much close in size as that of the zirconium hafnium pair and finally tit titanium and zirconium titanium and zirconium there is no lengthening contraction between titanium and zirconium that's why the correct answer is the one in which the size of zirconium and hafnium is nearly close and that's why the answer is second 31 answer will be second